Welcome back YouTube. I'm here to show you how to do a delicious curry chickpea. It's vegan, it's vegetarian, it's gluten free. I always look in the back of the label, just make sure it don't have, you know, contain any different flour. This is uh, an all natural one. This is uh, organic. So what we use here, what I do with the chickpeas, I let them soak overnight. I let them, I clean them really well and I let them pre-boil for 35 minutes. I drain them and that we have here. They are really soft, they're ready to go. And we have pepper, salt, we have some coconut milk, we have a onion, the red onion, the uh, bell pepper, red bell pepper. We have here some different herbs, some uh, thyme and rosemary. We have a little ginger. And what I did with tomatoes, I got cut two tomatoes. I took the inside of it. So we're going to dice them very small. We're going to dice them very small. We're going to put them inside. We have uh, three rusted uh, small potatoes. Just do it medium size, not so big. Just kind of have the all the same. Yeah. And make sure that you wash your um, your potatoes really, really well. I rinse them maybe like you know till the water came very clear. So that's what you want to do. Uh, take all the starch out of it. Okay. Right now, I'm going to add a little olive oil. That's enough. You don't want to add too much. I'm just gonna saute the onions. I'm gonna sweat them a little bit. Okay, then you wanna add your herbs. Okay, so I just add the herb, the thyme, and the rosemary. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna get the curry powder. I'm gonna put a, a tablespoon full, tablespoon and a half. What we're going to do is, we're going to roast this with, with, with no liquid inside. Just roast that to it come a little brown. I'm going to cook that curry a little bit. And just a little cumin, like one, two, three. That's it. Okay. And you want to add your chickpeas right now. Add your chickpeas. And stir all that seasoning into your chickpeas with your herbs also. Really well. Okay, I'm going to add the ginger. You're going to add... Uh, some black pepper. You want to add your so you want to add your potatoes to it. Just turn it all in fat. Then you want to add two cups of your water. Okay. Two cups of water. If you want more, you can add more. Tomatoes. And we're going to let this come to a boil and cook. We'll be right back. 
little bit more water. Add one more cup of water. So just make it three cups of water. Three cups. It should look just like this. Okay, and then you want to add a good pinch of salt. So we're going to let this cook. We're going to let this come to a boil and cook to our potatoes soften up. Okay, I let the potatoes cook for like five minutes right now. And right now you're going to add some coconut milk. Just a little bit. And just some flavor. So after adding your coconut milk, you're gonna let this cook for the rest of the way and we'll be back. Okay, right now the potatoes been cooking for about 10 minutes. You just want to fork soft. See how it just breaks right on up. But it still have to cook a little bit. It depends on the size. You want them very small, it take a little less time to cook. Right now we're gonna add some kale, a little kale at the end to the dish. Gonna put it in like so. This is gonna cook for five more minutes and it will be ready. We'll be back. Okay, right now I just plate my chickpeas up. Feel free to add any salt to the end for extra taste. Right now, this is our chickpea, curry chickpea with potatoes and kale. I would like to thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye-bye for now. Make sure you subscribe to my channel, turn on your post notifications, and I will see you next time for my next video.